Okay. Tess? Okay, very good. Good morning, everyone. Today we are recognizing National Charter Schools Week, and we'd like to thank our charter school members and the board of our charter schools that, for their presence here today and the amazing work that they do with innovative learning, um, uh, innovative lear learning curriculum assets and also um, especially those in areas in like STEM, um, Career Tech, Guam Academy, iLearn and CIFA. So thank you so much for being here today. We want to acknowledge the work that you've done and uh, honor the work that you do. Relatives of recognizing the charter schools of Guam on the observance of National Charter Schools Week from May 8th through May 14, 2021, with the theme National Charter Schools Week 2022, Charter Schools Rising, and commending Guahan Academy Charter School, I Learn Academy Charter School, Science is Fun and Awesome, Learning Academy Charter School, and Career Tech High Academy Charter School for their innovative and Im imaginative efforts to ensure the well-rounded education of our students and our youth. Be it resolved by Imena Trentai Sai in Guahan, whereas in 1991, the first charter school law in the nation was enacted. And in 1992, the first charter school was established in Minnesota. By 1995, an additional 18 states passed charter school legislation. And as of this writing, there are approximately 7,500 charter schools nationwide and four on Guam. Whereas this year, National Charter Schools Week is celebrated from May 8 to May 14, 2022, with the theme National Charter Schools Week 2022, Charter Schools Rising. And Whereas charter schools are tuition-free and independently operated public schools that are open to all students regardless of location, and charter schools function as public schools and their operators receive charters from public agencies, state or local school boards, and those charters are performance contracts that establish each school and contain provisions related to their financial plans, curriculum, and governance. And whereas the Guam Academy Charter Schools Act of 2009 was enacted to provide opportunities for teachers, students, and community members to establish and maintain schools that operate independently from the Guam Department of Education, our local academy charter schools receive funding from annual appropriations to the Guam Academy Charter School Fund at a rate of about $6,200 per student enrolled in the respective academy charter school. Whereas in 2013, the Guahan Academy Charter School, GAX, became Guam's first approved academy charter school and was established in Tizen. And the school is focused on resourcefulness, respect, and responsibility, and it aims to nurture their students' abilities to set and achieve goals, communicate effectively, think critically, and develop a self-motivated pursuit of knowledge. GAX's goal is to design and implement an academic program that meets the needs of a wide range of learners and to create a learning environment where diversity is celebrated through the studying of various cultures and civilizations, their arts, music, customs, and beliefs. And Guahan Academy Charter School aims to continue to promote tolerance and acceptance of all individuals and to instill in their students a sense of respect and community. And whereas the iLearn Academy Charter Schools was established in January 2015, becoming Guam's second approved academy charter school, ILEX provides a rigorous academic curriculum for grades K-5 K through 5, with a special emphasis in technology. And their students receive a unique and advanced educational experience to help ensure their future success. ILEX is committed to enriching their students, learning in all content areas, but with a specific emphasis on technology, science, and math. And the mission of ILEX is to foster a love of learning in the environment that provides students with the knowledge and skills needed to achieve academic excellence through the use of technology, personal growth, and success. And whereas in 2018, the Science is Fun and Awesome Learning Academy Charter School, located in Tizen, was established, becoming Guam's third academy charter school to be approved. CIFA is a science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics-based charter school 
that concentrates on educating middle school students. And its mission is to prepare middle school students through rigorous and relevant STEM content as SIFA is dedicated to the academic and personal development of their students to be successful and productive citizens by developing strong critical thinking skills that are needed to solve problems for Guam and the world and to prepare their students to meet the challenges of today's world by helping them to achieve their full potential. And whereas in 2019, the, charter, the, the Career Tech High Academy Charter School, CTEC, located in Haget, became Guam's last and fourth academy charter school to be approved. It was established and, op and opened their doors to students in January 2021. CTEC is Guam's only trade-centered high school that provides students the knowledge, experience, and opportunity to achieve nationally recognized certifications in their respective technical fields and with a special emphasis in career and technical education. Their students can enter our local trades industry workforce with employable skills. CTEC's mission is to provide a foundation in excellent character, student leadership, and technical management and it aims to provide coherent and rigorous curriculum aligned with challenging academic standards and the relevant technical knowledge and skills needed to prepare high school students for further education and career, careers in their chosen tech career technical cluster. Thank you, Senator. Whereas Guam's academy charter schools are accountable for improving our island's achievements and meeting additional provisions of their charter, as well as visions of educational advancement that might not be realized in traditional public school settings. Now therefore be it resolved that Imene Trentai Sai's Nala Satorin Guahan does hereby on behalf of the people of Guam recognize the Charter Schools of Guam on the observant National Charter Schools Week from May 8 through May 14, 2022 with the theme National Charter Schools Week 2022 Charter Schools Rising and commend Guahan Academy Charter School I Learn Academy Charter School, Science is Fun and Awesome Learning Academy Charter School, and Career Tech, Career Tech High Academy Charter School for their innovative and imaginative efforts to ensure the well-rounded education of our students and our youth. And be it further resolved that the speaker certify and the legislative secretary attest to the adoption hereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to Evangeline Cepeda, Chairwoman of Guam Academy Charter Schools Council, to Linda Hernandez Avila, Principal of Guahan Academy Charter School, to Helen Nishihara, Chief Operations Officer of Ilearn Academy Charter School, to R.G. Pamplona, Lower Elementary Principal of Ilearn Academy Charter School, to Maria Dunn, Upper Elementary Principal of Ilearn Academy Charter School, to Dr. Juan Flores, Principal of Career Tech High Academy Charter School, to Jane de Guzman, Principal of Science is Fun and Awesome Learning Academy Charter School, and to the Honorable Lord S.A. Leongro Imagahagan Guahan. So we'd like to invite um, first the council to give some remarks, and then we'll call up the schools um, one by one uh, to speak a little bit about your charter schools and uh, the mission and vision and the great achievements that you have seen through the education that you provide our children. Okay, thank you. Sanchez. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you to honor our honorable senators here with us this morning um, to recognize our charter schools. Um, Vanjie couldn't be with us today. She's actually under the weather. So thank you, everyone else who's present with us today. Um, thank you again for um, taking time out to honor and recognize our charter schools, um, not only our administrators, our teachers, our faculty, and our staff, but most importantly, our students. Um, it's an honor to have them celebrated um, and recognized during this Charter Schools Week. And thank you to all of you who continue to provide, you know, the foundation and the, the creative learning environments for our students to continue to excel. Um, that's all I have. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Gax?
So we have our solutions, they just have to print the rest and we are going to deliver them to your schools. Good morning everyone and thank you very much. Thank you honorable senators for your support and that we are able as Guangan Academy Charter School continue to support our students. Um, at Guangan Academy Charter School our vision is to for all our students to be respectful, responsible and resourceful. And our vision our mission is to empower our students with proven educational practice and social supports to be productive citizens in the community. Once again, thank you very much. I learned. Good morning. Thank you again to Echo Guahain, to our honorable senators for your support. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Um, at iLearn Academy, we were birthed from the need to provide an option for elementary students in the area of STEM. Um, and with the support of our legislature and the support of our community, that has been made possible. Um, so the vision and mission of iLearn Academy is to provide uh, an environment in which we inspire students to be inventive, imaginative, and creative, and critical thinkers for life um, within the area of STEM. Um, we are excited to continue to grow. Um, we are excited for what's in store for iLearn, and we continue to look forward to the support of our community and our legislature. So thank you so much. Sifa. You guys can junk him, Paul. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not as tall as you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and thank you, honorable senators, and thank you to our fellow charter schools. So, CIFA, we are a STEAM school, and we are a middle school, and similar to iLearn, we want our students to be inventive in how they learn about our environment and critical thinkers of how they can solve problems locally and globally. Um, and you know, thank you again so much for all your support for allowing us to do that and to continue to do that. And that's all for me, thank you. <laughs> so um, you guys had a great presentation last week at the mall. Was it, would anyone like to come up and speak on that? Any members of the board? No. Come, come, come. Thank you again, and yes, um, uh, honorable senators, thank you for your support. The, the charter schools, um, we, we try to work together through the council, and the great thing about the presentation we had at the Micronesia Mall was we were able to showcase all the schools and, and the ability that we have as uh, you have given us the flexibility in, in terms of uh, designing our own academics. Uh, and of course, through your support and uh, financially in terms of the budget, but the, more importantly, the support that we have in this body in regards to giving us that freedom to do what we, uh, our passionate administrators and our teachers, love to do for our children. And we saw that and we showcased that at the Micronesia Mall. A lot of uh, parents uh, that came, the students were excited to showcase that. Uh, they were very happy. And, and we also got um, interest from the public in general. So uh, it was a great showcase uh, to really showcase all of our schools, um, the charter schools that, 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 were, that we have at, uh, on Guam. And we, again, thank you so much for all your support. We could not have done it without you. Um, the charter schools, uh, you can see that we all work together, we collaborate, and uh, we, we do have these feeder systems. And so, um, without the legislature, without the support of the, the administration, and of course the support of the council, we could not have done what we do now. And so we thank you so much for all the work you do. Yes, very good. One thing that amazes me about the charter schools, although you guys have different missions and visions, there's still that collaboration within the charter schools that continue this, the curriculum assessments and design. And so that's what makes you very unique because you function differently, the curriculums are different, but you're still able to collaborate and ensure success for the students in all the charter schools. So bravo, well done, and thank you, and continue to do the great work that you do for our children. Thank you.